Hey folks, uh, this lesson is a fast one. It goes on estimating products. So I think this, this is one of my favorite ones right here, you guys. So our common core strand for our teachers is right there. So our essential question is how can we estimate products by rounding numbers to see if our exact answers are reasonable answers? So we're going to do a lot of that right here. Let's go ahead and uh, graph 153 on this number line right here. Okay, so 153 looks like they're going by Here's 100, here's 120, so this must be 110. So 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. So 153 is going to go right about there. Okay, so there's 153. And then it says, then tell which hundreds that 153 is closer to. So is 153 closer to 100 or is it closer to 200? Well, not by much, you guys, but it is closer to 200. It's on this side right here, because this is the halfway mark right here, 150. Okay, so 153 is closer to 200 than it is to 100. Okay, so explain how, if we didn't have a number line, how to round 153 to the nearest hundreds, okay? Well, what you do is, since we're rounding it to the nearest hundred right there, we look one place to the right right there one place to the right of the hundreds digit, so which is a five. And since it's a five, if it's a five or bigger, we always round up to the next one. So I'm going to round it up to the next higher hundred if they're asking us to round it to the hundred. So even if it was 150, that's your halfway spot. But, um, but the general rule is, is to always round it up. So it would round up to 200. Okay, Tracy drinks uh, seven glasses of water each day. She says uh, that she will drink 2,555 glasses of water in a year that has 365 days. Is this exact answer reasonable? And we'll explain. So basically, um, uh, we're going to see is 7 times 365 uh, equal to 2,555. Okay, so what we're going to do is first round 365 to the nearest 100. Okay, so this would round to closer to 400 than it would be 300 right there. So we're going to round uh, the 365 to the nearest 100, which is 400. Then I'm going to go ahead and multiply 7 times 4, which is 28. Okay, so step two is uh, think 7 times 400 is 7 times 400 right there. 7 times 4 is 28, so that's 2,800. 2,800 is 2,800. Okay, so Tracy uh, can drink about, uh, so is this answer reasonable? So since I rounded it, this is up a little bit. This answer is going to be a little bit higher than this. So, so it is a reasonable answer. So Tracy uh, can drink about 2,555 glasses of water in a year. That's a lot of water. Okay, another way is to estimate by finding the two numbers that the uh, uh, two numbers the exact answer is in between. So think uh, that 365, it's in between 300 and 400. So I'm going to round this guy to 300, and I'm going to round this guy to 400 and see what 7 times 300 is and 7 times 400 is. Okay, 7 times 3 is 21, so this is 21 with two zeros right there. Okay, uh, whoops. And then um, 7 times 4 is 28, so 28 with two zeros is 2,800, 2,100. So her answer was 2,555, so is that reasonable? Yeah, it's in between uh, these two values right here, so uh, Tracy can drink somewhere between 2,100 and 2,800 glasses of water, so her answer seems to be reasonable to me, okay, or to us anyways. So describe reasonableness. Uh, you can estimate a product to find whether an exact answer is reasonable, okay? So, for example, tell whether an exact answer is reasonable. Trevor's cat sleeps 112 hours a week. Trevor solved the equation below to find out how much his cat sleeps in four weeks. He multiplied four times 112 and he got 448 uh, uh, and he's going to say uh, his cat sleeps 448 hours in four weeks. Is his answer reasonable? So what we're going to do is, is find out uh, what is uh, 4 times 112, and we're going to estimate. So what I'm going to do, you guys, um, uh, sometimes the books suggest to, to round this to the nearest hundredth. I'm going to round this to the nearest tenth, right there where my cursor is right there. So I'm going to round this to 11 tenths and put a zero right there, 110. Okay, so think I'm going to round it to the nearest tenth. It's going to be a little bit more accurate than if I rounded it to, because isn't 110 closer to uh, uh, 112 than 100 is? So I'm going to round it to the nearest tenth right there and make it 110 right there. And then what's 4 times 11? 
4 times 11 is 44, so it's going to be 44 with a 0 right there. Okay, and then uh, Trevor, uh, uh, Trevor says his cat sleeps 448 hours in four weeks, so is his answer reasonable? Is this close to that? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty darn close right there. So 448 is close to 440, and that's a reasonable answer. And see how close we got? It's a nice, quick shortcut right there. All right, another way is to find two numbers, the exact numbers in between. So I'm going to round this to the nearest tenth again. This is going to be 110, and I'm going to round this one up to the next greatest tenth, which is going to be uh, 120. So it's going to be 12 tenths right there, okay? So I'm going to put 120 right there and 110. Well, 4 times uh, 11 is 44, so 4 times 12 has one more 4 in it. It's going to be 48. So 48 with a 0, and then 44 with a 0. Here's 44 with a 0, and here's 48 with a 0 right there, okay? So Trevor uh, said it was 400 and 48 hours. This is it's in between 440 and 480. So uh, 448 hours is a reasonable answer right there. All right, let's uh, wrap this up by uh, just estimating the products here. So so what's six times 472? I'm going to round this to the nearest hundredth, which is 500. Six times 500, and six times five is 30. And then I add these two zeros on it. So there's the two zeros right there. So this is 3,000. Okay. 3 times 6,254. I'm going to round this to the nearest thousand. So I'm going to round this to 6,000. And 3 times 6 is 18. So 3 times 6,000 is 18 with those three zeros right there. So 18,000. Okay, here, 9 times 64. I'm going to round this to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to round this to 60. 9 times 6 is 54. So 9 times 60 is uh, 54 with a zero. Okay, now what do you think? Do you think this is going to be bigger than 540, or do you think it's going to be smaller? Well, 9 times 64 is a little bit bigger than 9 times 60, so it's going to be a little bit bigger than 540 right there. All right, okay, this one's a, a, a close one here right here, you guys, 6,504. What are we going to round that to? Remember what we said, what we talked about about five minutes ago? Since that's a 5, this gets rounded up. I'm going to round this to 7,000. Okay, 5 times 7 is 35. So uh, it's 35 with three zeros on that. And that's just an estimation right there. Okay, you guys? All right, I hope that helps you guys. And I hope you're having a, a great time, a great year this year. Take care.